Pranam Swamiji. Uh, this is our 23rd session of Mundaka Upanishad with Swamiji. I welcome everyone here. Uh, this morning, we will not be having question and answers. Yogacharya Sri Venudas Ji will now chant the first two shlokas from Dasha Sloki. Venudas Ji. Namaste, Swamiji. श्रुति स्मृति पुरा करुणा नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर नमस्तस्म भगवते शंकरचार्यूपिणे ये नेदेयृता वेद सागरा अध दश श्लोकी न भूमिर्न तोयम न तेजो न वायु न घम नेन्द्रियम वान तेषां समूह अनैकांदिकत्वात सुषुप्तेकदेको वशिष्ठ शिव केवलोहम स्तदेको वशिष्ठ शिव केवलोहम न वर्णा न वर्णाश्रमाचार धर्मा न मे धारणा ध्यान योगादयोपि अनात्माश्रयाहं मम ध्यासहाना तदेको वशिष्ठ शिव केवलोहम तदेको वशिष्ठ शिव केवलोहम हरि <clears> Om <throat> Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Param Brahma तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः ओम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा भद्रं कर्णे शृणुयाम देवा भद्रं पश्येमाक्षभ्रा स्थिरंगशेम देवित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्वेदा स्वस्ति नाक्षो अरिष्टने मे स्वस्ति न बृहस्पतिर्दा ओं शाति 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 (coughs) 
we have completed the first mundaka and today we are going to start the second mundaka as in the first mundaka here also there are two khandas khanda means a portion a part khanda part part 1 part 2 and each chapter in this uh, upanishad is divided as uh, mundakas so so first mundaka second mundaka and third mundaka in total three mundakas are there so in the first mundaka a brief introduction into the upanishad or the upanishadic thought was given and after that the subject matter of karma kanda that is the first portion of the veda was discussed and uh, actually it was not a detailed discussion of uh, karma kanda but just an analysis of the pros and cons of the karmas that is vaidika karmas and uh, that discussion took us to the conclusion that uh, the karma kanta or the karmas uh, explained in the veda that is karma kanda will take us to the higher worlds and the the highest benefit we are accruing from that is uh, reaching the highest world that is brahma loka but the fact remains there that all the worlds will have an end because where there is birth inevitably there will be, will be death so there is a beginning and an end so all the worlds we are reaching through performing vaidika karmas will end so that uh, revelation it took up us to the next uh, inquiry what is that eternal what is that eternal the eternal truth the absolute reality and which all this uh, relative manifestations are coming and going what is that absolute reality so that uh, quest begun and it was said in the first mundaka that the only way to realize the absolute is to approach a guru and hear from him what we have to hear what is the teaching of the of the upanishad or what is vedanta this question is answered in this uh, second and third mundakas that means we are entering into the 
real discussion of Vedanta. So far, the Rishi was making a, a stage to present the Vedanta. Was doing some background works. And that showed who is the seeker here, who is the guru, teacher, and uh, how a man is uh, becoming a, a seeker. All these things uh, are explained in the first Mundaka. So, with that knowledge, with it, Memorizing all these aspects, we are going to the second mundaga, the first khanda of that. See the first mantra. Tadeda satyam yadha sudipta pavakad vispulinga sahasrasha prabhavante sarupa tadhaksharat vividha somya bhava prajayante tatra chaiva piyante let us say the mantra once more tadeda satyam yatha sudipta pavakad vispulinga sahasrasha prabhavande sarupa tadaksharat vividha somya bhava Prajayante Tatra Chaiva Piyante. Tadu E Tadu Satyam Sudip Tadu Pavakadu Vispulingaha Sahasrashaha Prabhavante Sarupaha Tatha Aksharad Vibhithaha Somya Bhavaha Prajayande Tatra Cha Eva Apiyanti. Hey Somya. So here the, the Guru, the teacher, is calling. Oh Somya. Go to all the Upanishads available with us. Not to 10 Upanishads alone. Take every Upanishads, all the Upanishads. There we will see this term, Somya being repeated again and again. Gurus will change. So also disciples are changing. But this term is uh, repeated everywhere. Different Gurus are calling this name, He Somya, and entirely different disciples are being called by this name, He Somya. Somya. One having a pleasant appearance with a pleasant face or pleasant expression he is Omiya. 
whose mind is calm. He says, okay. When our mind is boiling, that will, uh, that will reflect in our appearance, especially in the face. One who is calm within, his face will speak that. The Somya is one with a with a calm, pleasant facial expression that shows his inner inner calmness. One who is one whose uh, mind is uh, boiling with anger. Last greed, and uh, such things, he can never be a somia. So, somia is come with it. So, this is the first quality for a student of Vedanta. One must be somia. So disciples are many, but the name for them is one, Somya. At one place, Bhagavan Bhashyakara explains this term. One whose sight gives happiness, he is a Somya. When you seeing a man with a calm face, with a pleasant attitude and a facial expression, that will give us happiness. We can speak sweet words, but what our inner heart is having, that will be shown by our facial expression. So this is the first quality for a student of Vedanta. He must be a Somya. He must be a Somya. And he is the most beautiful one. That makes us beauty. Not a facial cream or this and that. The inner attitude. Inner calmness that makes the man most beautiful. So here Guru is calling a Somya. Tadeda Satyam. So I am telling you the reality. I am I am speaking the truth. This is truth. This is the truth. This is the reality. You come here. Tadeda Satyam. But there is a problem. In the first uh, Mundaga, the Guru spoke the same words, Tadeda Satyam. Oh, come, this is the truth. Then also he spoke so. Here also he is saying that. So when one man is uh, telling two things and he is uh, calling, the public, oh, you come and hear this is the reality. I am, I am speaking the truth. How we will believe? We cannot believe. Because if it was the truth, he must not uh, tell something else as truth. But here it is, uh, it is negated here. And again, the, and again, the teacher is saying this is the truth. How we can accept and digest that? The answer is the earlier teaching was in the relative plane. 
it was truth it was uh, it was a reality but in the in the relative plane but now as the disciple has undergone that uh, karma kanda and uh, realized it is not eternal and it won't take us to the eternal and with that realization he has approached the guru and now guru is speaking this is the truth so what is going to be explained is in the absolute level so it is the real vedanta Here we have to remember a famous saying of Swami Vivekananda Ji. In one lecture, Swami Ji said, "There is no such a thing as wrong. There is no such a thing as wrong. But truth, the lower truth, and the higher. So there are different strata: lower truth, higher truth." still higher still higher and the highest truth there is nothing as uh, or wrong what is wrong wrong for one man is right for the other in the in the ultimate level there is nothing as wrong so what was taught earlier is in the lower plane it was not wrong it was a reality it is a truth in the lower plane and now as the as the disciple has grown up the teacher is opening him to the highest knowledge so this is the truth tadeda satyam tad that edat this satyam the reality or the truth so this is that truth which you are inquiring this is the reality which you are inquiring so you come and hear tadeda satyam etha how or in the way सुदीप्ताद सुदीप्ताद सुदीप्त मीन्स वेल बर्निंग और वेल फ्लेमिंग सुदीप्त पावकाद पावक मीन्स फायर अग्नि पावक अग्नि सुदीप्त वेल बर्निंग so subhipta and pavaka and means from well burning fire or well flaming fire so fire is flaming well and from that this pulling aha flames or sparks this pulling aha it can mean either flame or spark so this pulling the highest the plural flames or sparks prabhavande prabhavande means are originating prabhavande are originating this is the plural form sahasrashah sahasrashah in thousands sahasrashah means in thousands sahasram is 1000 1000 so here the meaning of sahasram is not 1000 the meaning is innumerable it is a phrase usually we use uh, the shabda uh, words like uh, shatam 
or sahasram or ayutam or laksham has to mean innumerable, many. So sahasra shahain, thousands, that means innumerable, misphulingaha, sparks or flames are prabhavande originating. So fire is there and it is well burning and from that many many flames or sparks are originating how are they sarupa of the same form rupam is form sarupa having uniform appearance. So Rupam is connected with appearance and Sarupam having uniform appearance. Sarupa of the same nature. Sarupaha. Sarupa also can mean with form. Sarupa also can mean with the form, but here that meaning we cannot take because it uh, won't fit to the context. So the context shows Sarupa means of the same form. So Sahasra Shaha, thousands and thousands of flames or sparks are being originated from the fire which is well burning. You see that. So here Guru is giving an example which is very familiar to the students. Because he is a student who is doing Agnihotra daily. Daily he is doing Agnihotra. And while doing Agnihotra, we will insert uh, uh, Samidha, that is pieces of firewood into the fire. And then when we, when we put firewood into the fire, already there is fire. There are firewoods. So many, many, many gas sparks will emerge. So that is a common sight. And the student is familiar with that. So when we give illustrations and examples, we must give familiar examples, familiar illustrations. If we give some examples, taking the Airavata or Ucchayishravas, the student do not know that. Of course, we know the name Airavata. But we, we didn't see. So always examples and illustrations must be common. With which the student is familiar. So here, it is very familiar. The example of fire is uh, given. But it's very difficult in the present age. Houses do not have fire. From the gas oven, such, a, such sparks won't come. If sparks are coming, we will take the oven for repair. So it is not familiar now. And from microwave ovens, nobody will see such flames. If flames are coming, it is gone forever. So the kitchen from the microwave oven, fire came, flames came. That means it's gone forever. So it is not familiar nowadays. But this example is uh, 
very much common and it is familiar with the student and the student will realize that oh i realized that there are there are thousands and thousands of sparks coming and all are of the same appearance and the flames which is coming from fire is nothing but the fire itself it do not have any other existence any other individuality it is the fire take one flame and another flame both are same both are fire one fire but they are manifesting as many the fire is the same and manifestations are many tadha in the same way in the same way Hey, Somyo, O oh, Somyo, Aksharad, Aksharam is imperishable. Eternal. So Aksharad means from the eternal truth or from the imperishable. Vivitaha Bhavaha. Many manifestations. Bhava means manifestation. Vivitaha bhava, many, many manifestations. Prajayande are originating. Are originating. So from the from the akshara, from the imperishable, many, many manifestations are originating. Coming. Just as flames from the fire. What is the flame? It is the fire. It is just a manifestation. Flame is not different from fire. Spark is not different from fire. It is fire. But it is a special type of manifestation. We cannot see fire. When it is manifested in the in different forms, then then only we are recognizing. In the same way, the formless in imperishable existence it is being manifested in many many forms vividhaha bhavaha many forms prajayande are originating he somya and tatra cha tatra means there tatra cha there itself Api yanti. Yanti means goes, but when it is joined with api, api yanti dissolves. Api yanti means dissolves. Then itself they get dissolved. That means just as flames are. being originated or originating from fire and there itself the dissolves in the same way from the imperishable existence absolute which you are inquiring many many forms thousand fold forms are originating and there itself they are getting this old. So all these manifestations are coming from one point and dissolves into that. What is that? 
that is the absolute reality tadeda satyam you just inquire there must be a cause for all the effects this cause effect relation or cause effect theory nobody can negate so we are we are seeing many manifestations and uh, we are amidst uh, such manifestations so there must be a cause what is the cause then we will we will uh, arrive at certain causes and again the cost will come what is the cause of this what is the cause of this and there must be a final stage so that is taught you as this is the absolute reality tadeda satyam tadeda satyam what is that satyam from where all the manifestations are coming and unto which all the manifestations are dissolving back that is the absolute reality in many many forms these manifestations are coming and going back so the 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 reality behind all the existences or all the manifestations is that one imperishable existence akshara and these manifestations are akshara perishable because there is birth and death coming and going appearing and disappearing and about this there is the existence absolute there is the absolute reality from which all these manifestations are originating do an inquiry into that do that quest and realize this is the teaching here and uh, from where all these manifestations are coming to that that alone they are going back and the soul is to one so this is the teaching here so let us see the mantra once more tadeda satyam yatha sudipta pava kadvis kholinga सहस्रश प्रभवंते तथाक्षरा विविधा सौम्य भावा प्रजाते त्र चीये सो दस्ट मंत्र वी कैन टेक इन अवर नेक्स्ट क्लास so if you want to ask anything please do ask but after some time we will have to close this yeah namaste swami ji namaste namaste swami ji swarupam it is said the same form but the same swarupam we call it our own swarupam also for yeah. that also we say swarupam Yeah. So, will you please But explain? Here it is sarupa, sarupa, not sarupa. Swarupam is swasya rupam. Yeah. Swasya rupam, or swasya harupam. 
when it is feminine it is sosyaha rupam when it is muscular it is sosya rupam that is swarupa sosya means one's own form is rupa is form so one's own form what is our real form this is not our real form this is uh, always changing ever changing ever changing and uh, i am witnessing these changes i'm experiencing these changes and so i am not this so what is my real form this is not not my real form what is my real form that is swarupam swasya rupam here it is sarupa sarupam the direct meaning is having form but here here it is not a having form it is of the same form samana rupa samana rupam sarupa namaste uh, next question is from i think Venugas. i think with the with the next question we can conclude today's class because i am in such a such a busy schedule namaste next question is from venudas ji namaste swami ji namaste namaste swami ji um, please give us a guidance what is the importance and necessity of a friend in our life and who is a good friend thank you so much <laughs> so you are asking about friend and the friendship necessity of a friend in sanskrita there are there are many terms like mitram suhrut and so many others so generally mitram is a friend mitram is a friend and suhrut also is a friend mitram will not be with us always for some transactions he will be with us and after that transaction he will go away and uh, at times of pleasure he will be with us but at time times of pain we won't see him whereas a suhrut is one who will be always loving and sharing with us the term suhrut means one with a best heart khruti heart so shows the best so suhrut is one with a best heart what is that best heart one who is sharing and caring always that understanding is there as we are social beings and we have a multiple faculties body mind intellect senses and even within the mind and intellect there are there are millions and millions of cavities questions to answer many many problems to solve there are many many riddles to tackle
if this one gives any burden or weight, it's all right. But practically, it is not so. Each and every situation in life, the question we have to answer, are the problems we have to solve, they, they give a burden. There will be, there will be inscriptions of a dub in us. They will influence us. So there must be somebody to share with. There must be somebody to share with. Share ideas. Share problems. Share questions. Or share the answers even. This is the answer I got. What's your opinion? How is it? So there was a problem in my life. And this is the solution I arrived at. So I, I want to share with you. What's your opinion? So this is essential in human life. Otherwise, as we are social beings, if we do not have friends, how we will live in this world? How will we face the problems? So if we are above the world, there is no problem, there is no such a question. But when we are in the world, when we are in the society, we must have friends. Otherwise, our, our balance will go. One without an inner balance will create all havocs in the society. He'll be a problem for himself and for the house and family and the, and the nation and the world. So we must have friends. It is the key to success in our life. So one who do not have friends He's not a he's not a human being in the society, in the world. So we must have. And who is a friend that we cannot define? That we cannot define. But however. Our first friend is our mother. Our mother is the first friend. And she must be a friend always. Sharing things. and find friends around. One who is a friend to himself will be a friend to all. So we must be our own friends. Bandhur atma atmana stasya en atmai vatmana jitaha. One who has control over himself is a friend of himself. Such a man, such a person will be a friend of all. Each and every person who uh, approach him will think he is a friend, he is my friend, he is my friend. So, so who is a best friend? I cannot, I cannot tell that. We have to find. We have to find out. But in this society, we will realize that 
only when we are analyzing our own experiences. So we cannot define it. But this much we can say, as long as we are in the society, as long as we are living as a social being, we must have friends and uh, the best friend is our own self. I am my own friend. And of course, mother is the first friend. Ishwara is a friend. We do have a Sakyam with him. Sakya Bhakti. So Ishwara can be a friend. So it is difficult to define who is a friend. Namaste. Namaste. So today we can conclude and the next uh, next week means Mm. What is the date next to, next to Saturday? Next to Saturday? Sixth. 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 Ah. So, so we can have the next class on 13th. So, sixth. I'll be traveling. So 13, 13. And the seventh also we cannot. So if we can have on other working days, it is all right. Otherwise, Saturday and Sunday is difficult. Namaste. Om Bhadram Karne Bhishranuyama Deva. Bhadram Pashe Maksha Bhirya Jatra Stirai Rangai Stustovam Sastano Bhir Vyashema Deva Hitam Yadayuhu Sustena Yendro Vridhashrava Sustena Pusha Vishwaveda Sustena Starkshyo Arishta Nemi so the nobre has patter the dhatu. Om shanti shanti shanti. Om guru brahma guru vishma. Guru devo maheshwaraha. Guru sakshat param brahma. Tasmai shri gurave namaha.